Greetings again, everyone. Sir Morgan here once more from the technical department. Today, I'll be showing you how to divide a line in a given ratio. I will now go ahead and border my paper. For today's class, we will be dividing a line that is 9 centimeters long. We will divide this line in a ratio of 2 to 4 to 3. I will now go ahead and draw my line AB to measure 9 centimeters. 9 centimeters is the same as 90 millimeters. I will now outline my 9 centimeters. The next step is that we will label our line AB. Now, the length of the line AB is 9 centimeters, and the ratio that we will be using is 2 to 4 to 3. Now, what we will do now is to draw a line from point A at an angle that is convenient to us, right? So you're not going to measure in the angle. You're just going to draw a line, an acute angle that is convenient to you. We will label this point Z. Now on the line AZ, what we will do now is that we will take our compass and open it to a small convenient radius, right? But before we do so, we need to add the, the, the ratio numbers 2 to 4 to 3. Right? Now when we add 2 and 4, we will get 6. And 6 and 3 equal to 9. So this line will be divided in you will be divided into 9 parts using our compass. Okay, so 2 plus 4 plus 3, we get 9. I'm going to be zooming in just a little. Now, 
Now, once your compass was opened to a small convenient radius, we will now be stepping off nine divisions equally on this line, AZ. Now, we will not move our compass once it is set. We will not move the compass once it is set. Okay, now I'm going to, to count to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Now, if this ratio was a different number and we add them and we got, for example, seven, then we would have divided this line, right? We would have used our compass to get seven divisions instead of nine on this line. Right, I'm now going to be labeling all these intersections. Right, I'm now going to be labeling all these intersections from one to nine. Now we will connect the ninth intersection on this line with B. Now if the ninth intersection for you was somewhere down here, then you would have connected it from here to B. So always remember from the last intersection on this line, where the arc intersected this line from this last intersection, we will now draw a line to B. Now, we will now look at our ratio 2 to 4 to 3. Now, this line will be divided into a ratio. So from the previous lesson, what we did was to connect all these intersections, draw lines from all these intersections to the AB line. It will not be the same for this lesson. What we will do is that we will look at our first ratio, 2, and we will now identify the second, the second intersection. So one, two, based on the ratio, right? So we'll be drawing a line from, from here, this point, two, upwards to our AB line, right? But first, what we need to do is to place one set square along this line, and another set square under. So the, the first set square, this set square, is placed perfectly along this line right here. Then we will now place a set square under, under the first one. I'll now be, be zooming out for you to be better able to see. Now, what we'll, we will now do is that we will be sliding to the second intersection right here, right? Because of the ratio. If the ratio was, was different, then we would, would, would do otherwise. So I will now slide to my second. Division on the AZ line. Now, please note, 
you cannot move this second set square else the ratio of the ratio will be inaccurate right you cannot move this second set square this is the only set square that we will move along this edge right so along this set square's edge we will move or slide this first set square so let's call this set square set square a now the next step is for us to look at our ratio once more so we will now look at our ratio once more we have just done the, 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 this part which is one two now we look at the middle of the ratio which is four and we are now going, going to count four divisions right so this is one two three four right so right at six we will also need to draw another line to our line a b now remember you cannot move set square B or the second set square any at all. All right, I'll now be zooming in for you to be better able to see. Now, what we have just done is that we have just divided our line AB into a ratio of 2 to 4 to 3 right 2 we use 2 on this line then 1 2 3 4 and then 1 2 3 now this is how we divide a line into a given ratio thanks for watching Remember to follow all instructions clearly and please feel free to share this video with another student from another school if possible. Thank you. Have a lovely day.